IDD stands for the Institute of Drug Development. So what does the IDD program do? Essentially, it's the phase one program for drug development. So many drug companies come to us with their first in human drugs, whether they are small molecule inhibitors or antibodies or combinations of that. And our job is to develop them through the phase one IDD program. So what does the IDD program actually entail? We have doctors who do phase one clinical trials. We have the support staff, which are key to making it successful, research nurses, they are phase one research nurses, so their job is to take care of these patients from the time they sign the consent form to getting them on the trial and then while on trial manage them with the doctor. We have a portfolio of trials that we have built and uh, the IDD program keeps building new, new uh, portfolios from various drug companies including small biotech and pharma. And our job is to offer these trials to our patients who are referred to me personally or to another doctor in the phase one program. Over the last 20 odd years where the IDD has been around, uh, FDA has approved uh, over 25 drugs. So we pride ourselves on uh, having a pristine set of data from these patients that the FDA can use uh, to approve these drugs in the future. So the research portfolio for a phase one IDD program is mostly drug company sponsored drugs. But we also encourage investigator-initiated clinical trials where our investigators can come up with good ideas and work with drug companies to have various combinations that are not toxic and effective. And those are highly encouraged and it's part of the NCI designation to have those trials open. Now we are also part of the UM1 grant, which is a grant uh, through the NCI, the ETCTN network, and we can open those studies here. And those studies uh, are written by other investigators and have got uh, grant support from the NCI. And we are able to open them here and offer it to our patients. So it's an additional step or additional opportunity for patients to actually have access to new combinations of drugs.